Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to introduce you to my very first studio vlog. My name is Tuna and I'm a full-time illustrator and comic book artist. Basically, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm working on different projects and I thought it would be cool to record and share with you that not all artistic careers look the same. I'm actually a big fan of YouTube vloggers. I find they really help me feel like I'm not alone as an artist. So because of that positivity that <laughs> illustration vlogs have brought into my life, I thought, hey, I could do that. I'm gonna see about making my own vlog and hopefully share some of my life with you guys. The first thing on my to-do list is to get to my Patreon stickers. Um, every month I do custom stickers for my patrons. Right now I order them through Sticker Mule and I have them produced as vinyl stickers. And those need a turnaround time of about a week to uh, order and submit designs and have them mailed to me. So I wanna get them done now for the July stickers. Usually I try and do them a little earlier than this, but I finally got to the end of like my planned ideas <laughs> and I've been having to wing it um, for this month. But yeah, let's get sketching. Happy Wednesday. So I just received in the mail my package that I ordered from Lee Ellickson. The other day um, she was talking about the new releases in her store and I thought, you know, I enjoy her content so much and I am a big big fan of not only her illustration work but the way that she presents it. And I thought I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and support her in a very tangible way. So I went ahead and ordered some stuff. I kind of don't remember what I ordered. I'm pretty sure I got an original and a pin and a sticker. So. We'll find out together. Sorry, I'm just admiring how cute everything is. I really have to take it in. I'd say one of the parts that's the most fun about receiving packages from other artists, aside from getting a bunch of cool swag, <laughs> is that I get to see how other people put their packages together. I think that packaging is its own art form and depending on how you decide to do it, whether you go like a minimalist way or a maximalist way, <laughs> which can be for better or for worse, um, just seeing how everybody puts their own spin on it is always really informational and educational. Thank you again, Lee, for such a beautiful package. Good morning, guys. It's 10 a.m. on Thursday the 4th? Something like that? Um, July is ticking along. Today my task is to get my Patreon packages put together. So last night I was able to put all of the stickers into their little bags and that's what you see right here in the background. Um, I basically need to sort all four designs into 80 separate packages, so that's done. And the next step is to write thank you notes for everybody and put them into their envelopes. Also, please excuse my appearance. We're trying the no makeup look today. <laughs> Uh, I feel a little bit self-conscious, but hopefully, you know, I look okay.
today I'm just getting ready for a convention that I have tomorrow. It's just like a simple one. It's a one day con here in Vancouver called Mini Kami. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of show you guys how I prepare for a show. I've been doing them for like five years now, so I definitely uh, have a lot of experience, but I don't quite have it down to an art. I thought this would be also a good opportunity to show you guys how I organize like all of my workspace. Let me just back up here so you guys can see. Woo! So let's take you on a little tour of my shelf here. The top shelf is all kinds of goodies. I have a couple of different collections here. You may or may not have noticed that I am a fan of a certain green hatted plumber. And then I also have a bunch of Animal Crossing amiibos. I think I have all of them. I can't remember. I definitely tried to get them all. Uh, I'll take you to the top shelf. So this spot right here, um, I store commissions and outgoing mail that like doesn't take up too much space kind of in this area here. And then I have um, shipping envelopes here and here. And I recently reorganized this so that it's kind of organized by how much I use stuff. So I, I use shipping envelopes super frequently. They used to be in the bottom corner there, but then I moved them up here since I was like constantly having to shuffle everything around in this area to, to reach them. Over here I have some art supplies. So this is all of my paper. Uh, these are papers that I use, these colored ones, for Instagram when I'm like displaying my work. I, I lay down papers underneath as um, a color background. And then I also have some watercolor paper. And then smaller papers are in here as well as some little uh, office supplies and stationery. And then I have my old sketchbooks here. I wouldn't say I go through them like super frequently, but it is nice to have access to it just to like either mine ideas from myself. I don't know if you guys do that too, slash honor them because sketchbooks are a, a beautiful and magical thing. So moving on to the next row, um, this here on the left, I have a bunch of inspiration books. So these are like mostly art books and sketchbooks from artists that I really admire. Uh, Jonathan Edwards, paintings, etc, etc. Some of my favorites, I mean, the Heikala art book is incredibly beautiful and I've been referring to it a lot lately, so. And I wanted to have those here as like a source of inspiration and I could really easily grab them, just keeping them separate from the rest of my book collection. Here I have a little bit of merch. These are mostly stickers and they're mostly like my newer stickers slash my Patreon stickers. And then I also have my, my patches are in here too. And then here, this is shipping supplies. So I have packaging materials. I'm running a little low because I just fulfilled all the Patreon packages and like used up all my little bags, but I have these cards that go out with shop orders, I have envelopes, um, packaging, tissue paper, and then stamps are in this little box. And then over here, this is also kind of like an etc, etc corner that I haven't quite optimized yet, but in here are my prints, these are also extra stickers. This is like my con bag, so it has like mini scissors and tape and stuff that I bring to cons. In my light table, this is a light box, and then these are like plastic sleeves. And then in this brown bag, this is my sticker collection. On to the next shelf. This one has my buttons uh, maker, my button supplies are in that little basket. And then I've also started just putting like etc technology. So if I'm not using my mic, I'll store it in there. This is pin storage and these are like active pins. So I have um, additional pin storage. I think it's in this one. These ones are like ones that have been backed on cards or ones that I'm in really low stock of. In here, I keep all my paperwork. So I have all my receipts from this year. I have some documents and contracts and they're all stored in like separate separate sleeves. I also have like um, art prints that I bought are in the back there. So stuff that's not on display that I am not quite ready to part with. And in the back over there, this is like original art. So this is all my originals are stored back there. Um, that one's in a frame, that big one is not. And then that little blue folder has the rest. Down to the bottom shelf, this is where I keep all of my books, graphic novels, comics, etc crammed in as much as I can. I used to have so many more than this, but I'm finally like selling out of the graphic novel, which is good. This is the original that you guys saw earlier. This is like old merch. So that's any designs that I've either retired or there's also some seconds in there. And then down here, this is actually my personal pin and patch collection. So that is full of pins and patches. And then in this dark, dark corner over here, I basically have like etc. So there's like old receipts in a big binder, um, empty frames, and yeah, that's that's pretty much what's over there. It's the, the dark recesses of the workstation. And then here you can see I have all of my art supplies. These are my art supplies. I try and keep what I regularly use on the top shelf. And then in the center, it's kind of like mid-range. And then at the bottom, which is kind of hidden right now, there's like 
a bunch of stuff I don't use very often, but I, I want to keep. And last but not least, this is my board where I have all of my pins and patch designs displayed. So I always try and keep one copy of whatever I make just to kind of like add to my own collection and be like, hey, I did this. So that's what this is. Um, the only ones that I'm missing are the blue version of the Lava Lamp Girl. I didn't keep a copy of that. And uh, the Haunted Patch just fell. So <laughs> I think I have everything else, which is pretty cool. For brightening our lives, our hearts, and most importantly, our shoes. This truly is a day of mixed emotions for me. I'm sad that old Gus is leaving, but it allows me to help Andy restart his life as Pioneer Hall's new shoeshine guy. Well, I've been listening to your boring speeches for the last 50 years. And now it's time for you to listen to one of mine. <laughs> you know, a day like this makes a man reflect upon his life. And I've come to the conclusion that I've completely wasted mine. <laughs> and just for the record, I never ever liked being called Old Gus. I didn't understand it when I was in my 20s, and I sure hate it now. So go to hell, every single one of you. <laughs> Hey guys, we're hanging out in the most well-lit spot in my house today because I just wanted to talk a little bit about Mini Coney and how everything went. As you can see, the show is relatively small. It just takes place in a local um, community center. Definitely had a lot of fun. One of the biggest struggles about doing conventions and like being a con artist is that it's very difficult to predict what kind of other vendors will be at the show, uh, what will be popular, and what people will be interested in buying at that moment. I don't tend to rely on trends when I'm producing work, so I'm mostly just focused on creating the work that I want to create, and like, if people like it, then great, and if people don't, then <laughs> what are you gonna do? The day went by pretty quickly and I got a chance to talk with a lot of really cool people. The nice part about a convention that's not super rammed the whole time is that I actually can stop and have conversations with these people who I really only see at a handful of events a year. I actually have another show a week from Mini Kami, so like next Saturday, which is a sort of like a different side of the same coin, same crowd, a lot of the same vendors, a little bit anime, a little bit doing your own thing. So the nice thing is that all the prep that I did for Minikami, I can just translate directly to that other show. <laughs> but that's going to be it for the vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed coming along with me this week. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, give me a sub. I'm really excited to start bringing you more content, so your support will mean a lot to me. One final shout out to my patrons. You guys are what makes this possible. And I'll see you all in the next video.